Hello everyone and welcome to the seventh episode of our Road to IPL Glory with RCB where today we're going to be taking on the Rajasthan Royals and a few other teams as well. We are currently sitting in our second season at the beginning, only six days in, fourth game for us, so we're playing plenty of games early in the competition. We finished last, last year was a real struggle. 1-2 to start, first two games were also a bit of a struggle but the last game was a dominant win so be kind of looking to continue that momentum at home at Bangalore against Rajasthan Royals who are sitting in seventh right now this is the team we're not going to change it too much I think we've kind of settled for this lineup I say kind of it's really hard to know but Cam Green is a solid batter that's really giving us a lot of coverage right now and Glenn Maxwell's bowling well enough to kind of keep us afloat. We're going to see how these bowlers go today. These are the stats from this competition so far. So, um, Mosin Khan has been brilliant. Five wickets at 14. Very good stuff early in the season. And Jai Richardson had a good start on his debut as well. So, we're going to see if that persists onwards. Having two right-handers in our lineup. Shocking stuff, I know. We've got so many lefties on the bench that only having two play between Cool Deep and Mosin is a bit of a shock. But nonetheless, I'm sure most of the other lefties will get goes as the competition wears on, especially if Jai Richardson does not perform with the ball and if he can't chip in with the bat as well because he is our number eight and has the best shot at doing so. Without further ado, we're going to make no changes. I've looked up and down a lot of the changes for like batters, but. Like, Chauhan and Prabhu Desai are just kind of worse options in a way to someone like Padadar. I've tried to look at dropping him, but he's, he is pretty quality, so we're going to keep him going. Here we go. Rajasthan. They've got um, Jaiswal, of course. Dubai. Um, Parag. It's a very different looking Rajasthan Royals, especially without Trent Bolt in their side. We've taken him away which is a big plus, I guess, for us. But Berger is there, so he might be dangerous as well because he is very good. Mustak, I haven't seen him at all. Uh, there's a few names in there, actually, that are new to me. We've lost the toss and we'll bowl first. Not the worst decision, though. Especially because we get to kind of test this batting unit here. Of Rajasthan, of which we are rough, I want to say rough favorites. It's very close, very, very close. Jai Richardson to begin things off to Jai's well, first ball of the game. And he's worked it down the ground for four. And he's whipped that away for six. Short boundaries here, obviously, at Bengaluru. Mosin Khan will have a go now. Oh, flicked in the air, just finds the gap from Jai's well for four. He's been the main aggressor so far. Jai Richardson to Dubai. It's high in the air and taken. 19 for one. The first wicket goes down and Dubai just goes for two. A very good start on that front then. Just struggling to keep Jai's ball under control. J J uh, I'm trying to say, J uh, is it Juyal? Juyal cuts that away for four. Apologies if I've got that wrong. Jai Richardson's bowling well. Do we keep him going? I feel like yes. Don't want Suraj bowling too much in the power play. Yes, he's got one. He's got Ju uh, Juyal. I've just got it wrong. <laughs> Apologies. Oh, yes. There we go. Nice Yorker. Seven off ten. Gets him out. That's a big wicket. Uh, Mosin can technically bowl again. I'm going to use an over of green. Just to get it out the way. Which Jaiswal understands that role and decides to pummel it for six. And flicks the way for four. Oh, no. Well, that hasn't played out well. Oh, dear. Yeah, we've got Jai's ball on form. That's not great. Anyway, ends the power play. Got an over of green out the way. 22. I just, he's been so terrible for us. He really, really has. It's been quite, quite shocking how terrible he has been. But anyway, that's okay. We've got other options, thankfully. 50 up for Rajasthan. Jai's ball has 41 of them. That's huge from Parag, though. Slogs into the stands for six. Off a good length. Cool deep yard of. First ball of a spell. And he knocks him over. 
Six and out. Thank you very much. Parag gets to go for seven off three. The good news for us is we're constantly taking wickets right now. So green aside, things are looking okay here. Time for Maxi to try his luck. He goes well. 73 for three. If we can just keep finding wickets at the other end, we're going to put pressure on Jai's while he hits that for six, though, Bista. Maxwell. 80 for three. To Bista again here. Cuts it away. It's going to be four more. This is the worrying partnership here. Anybody with Jai's while, pretty much. Oh, it's six two with the spin. Cool deep for one more at least, I think. We might give Maxi a spell. Oh, he's played that so well, Jai's well. I think that's his fifty. Ninety nine for three. Go! My bold. Suraj into the attack then. See what he can produce here for us. Expensive, but a wicket take up. Six. Beautiful shot down the ground for Jais. Well, that's dreamworthy stuff. Just a pickup. Shot straight down the ground. Beautifully played. 109 for three. This is looking very bad now. You're going to need a couple of wickets in a row. That's one bounce four. Cool Deep really struggling to contain the run rate. Oh, my goodness me. That's on middle stump, and he still managed to find it, the gap for four. Oh, he's got the dangerous Jai's well, though. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. 62 off 33, and he's gone. Cool Deep gets his second. That is a big wicket. Jarrell to the crease. He's inside east at what a take from Klaassen. He's on a hat trick all of a sudden. Ravi Ashwin to the crease. 118 for five. Hat trick ball. Catch it's cries of catch. Short. One bounce. Bad luck. Cool Deep Yadav ends up. Brilliant spell. Three for 38. Took some tap, but those last three balls were exceptional stuff, and it puts us back in the front of this contest all of a sudden. With Ashwin here now, with bowlers to follow. Without further ado, I think that means Suraj is going to have a second crack. Cries of catch, but it's edged away in the gap for four from Bista. Has to do a lot of work now, but he slogged that for six. Still got plenty of firepower left yet. Oh, yep, outside off. Still manages to whip it leg side for four. And again, two straight. Suraj, just bowl outside off, mate. Oh, at least he'll get an edge for four. Two edges for four. Caps off a pretty tough over for Suraj there. Glenn Maxwell's going to return. We just need one more wicket if we can. Especially Bist up. And he does with a full toss. Gonna crash into leg stump. Glenn Maxwell. Oh, in fact, middle. Plum in front. 64. A great knock, but it comes to an end. Abid Mustak to the bat increase here. And Suraj honestly shouldn't be bowling. But he's bowling to terrible batters. So it gives him the best chance. But he's still gonna <laughs> still gonna find another four off an edge. Oh, that's such bad luck, seriously. Want to drop Suraj, but that's just just bad luck. He's had, what, 12 runs conceded in edges? He should be 31, which is still bad, but 14s are really discrediting him here. Three overs to go. We, well, for our sake, I guess, and unfortunate for Suraj, can actually not use Suraj here because we've got plenty of other overs. Bold. I didn't actually mean this field, but it works. Jai Richardson will take the penultimate here. To Mustak. And he's behind. Nice. He's pretty much going to bowl him. Good catch from Klaassen. Jai Richardson with three for 19. And he gets Berger for a golden duck. Jai Richardson. Oh my word, he's on four wickets. Is that a hat trick or not? Just checking. I think it is. I didn't even think it was. I think it is a hat trick. He ended his spell with a, with a wicket. I don't think he's got... He hasn't bowled a ball since his first two balls of wickets. I think he's got a hat trick. He's on a double hat trick. And he's dropped, he's dropped that double hat trick ball. First double hat trick in the IPL, I think it would have been. 
Can't believe it. He's going for four and five. No, swing and a miss. What a spell. Four for 23 with a hat trick involved in there, as far as we know. Beautiful stuff. Mosin Khan to wrap things up. It's high in the air. Can somebody get there? Yes. 174 for nine. Shahal. And oh, Klaassen. Dies underneath it. Cost four runs. Ah, oh, costs what? I guess not just not just four, six runs cost us in the end. That is a big miss. Could be a big moment in this match. Could be. Nonetheless, Rajasthan get to 180 for nine. When at one stage they were looking like getting a whole lot less, and at one stage they were looking like getting a whole lot more. So it's been a very up and down innings for us with the ball. And, yeah, Cameron Green just not worth bowling. And Surai just really struggling with form. But not everyone can do well in the team. But, you know, still we've got to look at that next game possibly. But Mosin Khan, great one for 24. Jai Richardson, the standout. Four for 23 with a suspected hat trick there. I'm pretty sure that is because you can see the three dots in a row on the graph. That is a hat trick. Thank you very much. Great work, Jai Richardson. Fantastic stuff. And Cool Deep must be said. Big credit to him because he gets the dangerous Jai as well. And he finishes his spell very well by getting Jarrell for just a golden duck. So that's very important there. Maxi got out bissed up with a full toss, but you still take it. 10 dots. Very good stuff. Plenty of positives there. 169 for 8. Dally made there. Ravindra getting 3 for. Can we chase 181 at 9s per over? Got plenty of time to do it. The predictor states we should very much do it. Which is strange because it says predicted innings score about 71, 171, and yet we need 181. But, yeah, I guess it's close enough. Right. Sharma to open things up with Berger. Been a very good start, though. Very, very quiet. 10 after nearly four overs and an edge and gone. Swallowed it slip. Cam Green, 5 off 8. He's got to go for. Coley to the crease. And RCB under a little bit of trouble here. In fact, probably a lot of trouble early in this innings here. Oh, that's six, though. There you go. On the legs. Flicked all the way. Don't panic too much. Ooh, a bolt. 13 off 15 for Iswaran, who struggled to get a good start. Fielding restrictions end, and oh, dear. Is that bad. 29 for one after six overs. Oh, and Iswaran's going to gift it, I think. I thought it bounced. He's claimed it, though. Gone for 15. I honestly thought it bounced. I thought there's no way the way he dived that he was going to get there on the full. Oh, he does get there on the full. It's so bizarre, but it is out. Yuzi gets to work it immediately. 31 for two. What are we doing? Oh, shot, though. Pat it out. That's six. We're looking at dropping him, too. Starts with eight off two. Average is his real problem, though. Not his strike rate, to be fair. Oh, that's well played. Yep. Back foot drive through the point region for four. 12 off three balls. Still got two left. Tossed up. Cut away. That's also going to be another four. Thought it was six for a moment. And he retains the strike. What is going on? Coley, meanwhile, facing up against Ashwin. Short and punched. Yep, well played. 13 off 16. He's got to get going, though. Can't muck around for too long. Oh, full toss. Yep, played through the covers. Just gentle push. Deserved to go for four, and it did. What's Padadar got again? Playing a miss. Not much more that over. 11's needed per over, but we've done this sort of thing before. Oh, no. Spins it back, and Padadar misreads it. In the end, another pretty average innings from Padadar there, which is just so disappointing. 58 for three. He was looking really good in those first three balls and then just dotted up. Got out. Oh, tied. What a shot. That's huge. That is a good shot, too. Over extra cover. Thank you very much. Coley has to get going now. 64 for three. At the halfway mark, we need 11.7 per over. Coley will whack that one bounce four. It goes the reverse sweep. It's six. All the way. Okay, taking down Mustak. He continues around the wicket. And then straight into it. All the promise, all the hope, gone.
Well, well, well. What can you say? Oh, well. Klaassen to the crease. 74 for four. He's got it all to do. Works it beautifully through mid-wicket, though. And will pick up a boundary to begin his innings. 78 for four. Short up. Punch through point. Nobody there. It's four more. Back to back. So only 99 off 54. Possible, but... Oh, how has he hit that for six? I don't know. Not sure that's entirely realistic, but we'll take it. It's six nonetheless. Meddled it. Oh, Klaassen. Up and over. That's one bounce four. Shahal is struggling run rate wise. Oh, yes. Flicked away through square leg. Thank you. Back to back. Klaassen. We need tens, but that over, we got Bellini. More than ten. Hundred for four. The only problem is we don't have much more after these two. That's six. Dives in vain all the way. Just the six from the over, though. 75 of 42 right now. Plenty of game to play. And he's bowled him. Oh, goodness. Another start. Another wicket. Glenn Maxwell to the crease. And just two runs off the over. Just another. What's going on? 67 off. 30 now required. We have, I mean, these two can do it. These two can do it. And Maxwell's just blitzed it over extra cover. Beautiful shot. But we're asking a lot, though. A lot to go right. Two left. Comes the reverse sweep. One mouse four. And a single. That is technically 10 runs and over. Do we wait, perhaps, then for Klaassen and just give it one more over? think so. Before we go all out. Oh, yes. Good drive through the back foot. Covers four. I said it wrong, but you get the point. That's a good shot. Oh, oh, Maxi. Yeah, yeah we're, just the batting is really letting us down at the moment. Now, bowling, to be fair, hasn't been perfect either, but batting is really bad. 52 off 20. Jai Richardson's got a lot of work to do here and not a lot of people to follow him. Going for a golden duck. Cool Deep takes the strike. Why would you do that, Cool Deep? Why? What sort of logic was that? Oh, apparently good logic. Never mind, it's four. Take those words back. Full toss. Ho oh, ho! Another bell. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Gains Dashwood. Two in a row. And he's bowled him. Yeah, okay. Siraj, can you please, can somebody just get a single? Okay, fine. Klaassen, 43 off 12 balls. And he's gone. 37 off 22. Well, well, another loss. Thought you'd, I just thought we'd improve things between seasons, but uh, hasn't, just hasn't quite clicked for us. And yeah, he's gone, nicked off. And we are 145 all out. Embarrassing, embarrassing stuff. Uh, Jai Richardson, 4 for 23, was the best player for us. Batting was woeful. Terrible stuff. Uh, the power play just didn't set us up. And yeah, it was just not very good. I think the AI would chase what we just did. Oh, the, what we were, this, the total we were just chasing. So that's pretty embarrassing stuff, I'm not going to lie. Okay, this team needs a refresh. And we've kind of got it. I say kind of, because there's still a lot to think about. On several fronts, I suppose. We have bought in Reese Topley. We're going to see if maybe we can flip the... The, uh... I don't really know what I'm... The flip the script, I guess is the right way to put it. Drop Suraj. Pick Topley. What does that actually do to our rating? Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. So it actually minimizes the loss of Suraj and his current form, where he's going at 12.17 per over. Bring Topley in. And rotate Green and Jax out to push Indian batters at the top of the order and see if that works. We're going to bring in Chauhan. The main reason is for his strike rate. Last season, he averaged 21, but his strike rate was 140, which is really... We're missing some firepower in the power play. In fact, I'm actually very tempted to pick Salrab instead for that reason. He also struggled last season with average, but again, good strike rate at the top. Kind of what we want. Kind of what we want. 
Tide has been really very impressive in the middle. We've honestly, what we've missed is somebody who can actually work it around in the middle overs. So that's something that perhaps we could try Prabhu Desai instead of Padadar. Just we need somebody who's a little bit more willing to work it around. Because we have firepower, like, but then again, that's kind of Coley's job, isn't it? We're kind of just making it not his job. Like, we're kind of pushing him to do something maybe that's not his job. So maybe Coley should just be taking it up, and therefore everyone else kind of more focused on firepower type stuff. I think that might be the play. The question is, do we go uh, Chowhan or Salrab? The, the problem is Salrab hasn't played that many games, whereas Chowhan's at least played some games for us. But he's also only played one game this season and got eight. But it's so he can't judge that like this early. So I think we'll give him a go. Let's give him a go and see how he goes then in this game. But we're, we're going to try and flip the script a little bit and kind of shore up our bowling. And perhaps that actually makes it a lot harder to win against us because our five bowlers are very, very effective. All theoretical here really because i don't know what i'm doing and i really hope this works because if i if this doesn't work i don't know what else to do our, our, we just need our top six to fire i mean it's as simple as that and at the moment we're seeing decent stats padadar's probably been the real disappointment uh, and if nothing else, is probably the one person who's going to get rotated out. But we'll probably give him one more game here, and then we'll see how we go. But actually, let's just double-check our coaching if we can. Because we might be giving it to the wrong players, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, Cameron Green, yeah, is getting some batting. We do not need that. Uh, Bolt getting bowling is not terrible. Jai Richardson doesn't need the bowling. He does need some physio, though, just to keep him up. And same with probably Cam Green or Klaassen. Definitely Klaassen, actually. That would be good. And one more batter. To go to Maxwell, I think, would be good, actually. There we go. Moving forwards. Okay. So where do we sit on the table right now? Seventh. I mean, it could be worse, I guess is the good way to put it. Is the positive way to put it. We're going to need to start winning and start winning soon because else we're going to get to knock out territory pretty quickly. And in fact, we're already doing that. So we're up against Gujarat who are in third. Five-star team. This is going to be a tough challenge then. See what they've got. They've got Kane. I think that's Rinku Singh, Sudarsan, Gil, Omar Zai. They've got Sharma. Who hasn't played this year. So that, okay, well, according to my research, that's really good. As in, like, he's not that great. That's why I kind of got rid of him. But we'll see how he goes, I guess, for them. They've, they've obviously backed him enough to play him, so that's interesting. Kishore hasn't played either. They've got Shami, Kishore, Rashid, uh, Pramanik, and Omar Zai as the bowlers. Right, here we go. Win the toss. Dare I say, I actually want to bat. But. Yeah, why not? Let's bat. Gujarat wins 68% of the time. So I guess, if anything else, the pressure is off us. Here we go. Two off the first over so far. Cut away. One bounce four from Yizwara and good shot. Omar Zai at the other end. To Salrap. Who... Flicks that away for his first boundary in this campaign. Oh, yes. Good start so far. 10 off this over. Make that 14. It's a little bit outside edge-ish. I don't think that's a word. It's a little bit of an outside edge. It's 4. 20 off the first two overs. Brilliant start. Oh, yes. This is really good. What a difference it's made. One game immediately. That's 6 to Iswaran. 33 after 3 overs. Oh, yes. Thank you. What a shot through the covers. That's beautiful batting. Pulled away. That will be four more. Nine off that over. We're going to Kishore early. That's how on top we are right now. Forty-two for none. Kishore's a good bowler, though. 
And dare I say, yeah. what can I say? Um, yeah, next off because Kishos Kubala. Brett Coley to the crease. Two anchors together. Not the best, but oh, jeez. Ramanik, the slow left armor. Looks like Spen's already pretty effective on this wicket based on one over. Through the legs. Based on the fact that Spen got, oh sorry, Pace got absolutely carted. Nice. Good flick. That will be four for Iswaran. Brings out the 50 for the team. The power play now done and dusted. Coley's four off 11, so I talked about getting ourselves in and we've done that, but have we done that too well? Yes. Well, Coley's gone now. Ramanek's got him out. For 5 off 13. Pretty pretty sad stay, that one. Padadar, we're going to try and be less aggressive because he's been very good this season for aggression. Just hasn't been very good in terms of staying here. That is honestly the top shot. Like, Is Byron has been one of our best players by far this season. If not our best, for sure. An edge for one. On a good start to the over with 1 off 4. Oh, yes, it's just quality drive through the covers. Beautiful stuff. Okay, I said I was going to be more, less aggressive, and immediately I'm going to be more aggressive. Just ignoring all my team instructions. Oh, no. Well, well, well. 43 of 25. I mean, it's a good innings, but... Just need more. 69 for three at the halfway mark. That's six, is it? One bounce. Now it's the halfway mark. Kishore's about to bowl out, and he does. And Rashid hasn't bowled a ball. Sickening. Oh, wow. That is a slog sweep and a half, though, against Rashid Khan. Look at that. I've got to watch that one on, on replay all day. Seriously. Rashid Khan. Boom. That's gone. Woohoo. That is beautiful. Wow. Oh, look at that on drive. Through the gap. That's four. 91 for three. Oh. Might a miss. Six from it. Not doing too bad. Cut away. That's six. Beautiful over then. Very good stuff. I'm kind of thinking if we can just get through two more overs, then we can just launch for five overs straight. Yes. Flicked away from Padadar. That's four. Reads the googly well. 100 up for RCB. Three down. Oh, careful. Please be careful. I said two more overs. Oh, yeah. Blast it back past him. Just about. That's four. Nine off the over. Shami is back. One more. Tied. Cleans up. Shami gets another, another wicket. 24 off 16. His first today, but yeah, he's, I mean, he's a gun bowler. So, trouble times. Paddock is given more license here. 110 for four. 30 balls left. Oh. Rashid Khan to Klaassen. This is the battle here. Oh. Could decide this game, and already Rashid Khan seems to be winning it three dots in a row. Does hit a four, though, off the back foot. That's going to help. The death overs have arrived. Nice. Padded has flicked it for six. All right. I mean, we've got... We've got a little bit of coverage behind us. A.K. Maxwell with three overs left. Oh, yeah. Gone too, too hard too soon. Against Rashi Khan, Klaassen. Probably need him for the paces more than him. Oh, no way. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm speechless. This is like... We've had so many good... Like, our batting isn't that bad. But it's just not been good. And this is, again, just... Another showcase of it. And it does... Like, there's, there's probably three holes in this team. Nearly six. And one of them is that... Our number eight here, Jai, feels like a number nine or a ten. AKA, we can't get many runs from them. And they've, they've got a power play field to Maxwell. Like, what's going on here? Yeah. 
Six. Have some of that. Oh, no ball at six. Have some of that. Yeah, okay. And now they've got the right field. And he's gone. Uh, at least uh, he is Maxwell. Cool deeps on strike, though. Yep. Okay. Yes, he gets the single. Yes! Okay, 150 on the board. Three left. Wow, that's six. Two left. Gone. 26 off eight, Maxwell. I can't complain too much about that, to be honest, because he tried his absolute best. Topley last ball of the innings. Well, he tried also. And he's gone. But he tried. 159 all out. We've got a few holes in the team. And I think the problem is just probably our Indian batting is not as strong as I thought it would be. Padadar has been off color all season. Either he's struck really well or hasn't averaged well. Tide has been probably one of our better players in the middle, especially. Lots of starts, good strike rate, but just nothing more than that. He, he's never hit a big 70. And honestly, to be fair, nobody's hit a big 70 apart from Iswaran. iswaran has been our, easily our best find this season. Uh, Sal Rab looked good while he was there. Coley has been meh. He's been pretty disappointing for the money we're paying him. He's going to be lucky to get a contract next season at this stage, honestly. If I, I mean, I'm in charge. I'm, up, I'm the management here. He is going to be very lucky to get a contract next season with those numbers. I'm sorry. That is... With, 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 look at this pedigree. And then you look at this season. And you have to say... I'm sorry, but pretty much everyone in the team has had an, a better average or a better strike rate, if not both, than Coley. And here he is falling beneath those benchmarks, and that's just not good enough. For the money, as I say, for the money we're paying him, the slot he has, I don't think this is enough again. I think this team is really, is just really, really sad watching it at the moment. I thought our, our moves were going to do a lot of, lot of damage. They haven't really kicked on that much. Our bowling, to be fair, has done lots of damage this season. Our bowling has been probably our highlight, but our batting has just been more woeful than last season. Flicked away for four. See if we can defend this. That is a good start. Sudarsan's gone for a duck when he's normally averaging 34. Kane Williamson to the crease. Couple of runs. Ozen can't. It's Shubman Gill. Pulled away for four. Know how good Gill is because we've played with him before. And yeah, he smashed the fastest KKR IPL 100 back in the day for us. Looked away for back to back. Nine off the over. That's still not too bad. All things considered, we're going to go Jai one more. Kane whips it for six. Good shot, can I say? Topley. Bowl his first ball of the season and be whipped for four. Nine off it. Not too bad, not too good either. They need eight and over. Pretty much standard stuff. And we're going to need Kuldeep Yadav to get some wickets and get them fast. Yep. No two ways about it. 50 for one. Go! It's a good, good over. Six off it. See what Topley can do for us. Can he take wickets? No, he gets a sw to swing, though. Dots. So five off the over. That's the thing. We've just we've we've found when we've been batting, we, we get under pressure and we get out. Other teams somehow manage to escape. Good. Although I'm saying that, Kane's six and out again. Another six and out. 24 of 20 he goes for. Topley's been doing all right. Let's go Max Maxwell here. We need 93, or well, they need 93 runs. We need wickets, though. That's the main thing. Old. This is not Rinku Singh. This is Rahul Singh. Apologies. We've got Hamat Singh to come as well. He averages 31, striking at 151, though. And he's a lefty. Oh. And he's edged it, though. He's edged it. Yes. Okay. The good news about this Gujarat side is they're very similar to us. Once you get down to the bowlers, things get a lot tougher. And we haven't seen Sharma really 
produce a big innings. In fact, this is Sharma's second game ever. So if we can get to him, we have a game on our hands. 75 for three. Oh, hello. Run out time. Oh, I thought that was a run out for sure. Now he gets in. Gill's the danger man, though. Slog sweets for six. 84 for three. And Singh's driven it for four. Oh, he's gone, though. Maxi's got Singh out. Hello, hello. Omar Zai to the crease. Cool Deep's bowling up a spell. We just need one more here. One more to make this game interesting. I did it for four, though. Two balls left. Oh, my. Nails it. Absolute screws. Oh, no way. No way. Omar Zai's hit 466. Average is 18. He's done that and one over. 50 runs to win now. We're going to need our pace bowlers to do something miraculous here. So it's going to be Mosin Khan is back. Gill's too good. Pulled away for four. Well, if anybody's going to need to bowl these important overs, it's got to be Jai. He's our main wicket taker. He's got Gill to sky one. He's gone. Wow, wow, wow. This game again gets interesting. Gil gone for 63. Sharma to the crease in his second game. He's gone for a golden duck. Jai Richardson's on another hat trick. Oh, Rashid Khan to the crease. He gets a couple of runs. Jai Richardson again. Wow, I did not expect Jai Richardson to beat Trim Bolt for wicket taking ability. He's been fantastic. He really has. And now we're looking at a very, very good prospect of a game here. We just need probably one more wicket because these two can still whack the ball. We've only got 39 to play with and I don't... Maxi's probably at the weakest bowler at this stage. If anything, I'm actually going to... You know what? If we're going to chance our arm now, we're going to have to chance it. If we're going to chance our arm at any time, we're going to chance it now while Rashi Khan's fresh. Catch it! Rise of catch it. I don't, I don't think it's six. Oh, no way. The luck again. It skews away from us right when this game was there for the taking. An edge for one. That six has done such damage, though, to the target. But Rashid Khan's gone. This game swings back again. Leg stumped 10 or six. Jai Richardson's bowled out. Fair enough. Got to get the maths right, which is why we're going to go with Topley here. He's got a bowl. Then it's got to be Maxwell. Then it's got to be Mosin. Or, you know, Mosin, then Maxwell to finish off. 29 from 24. Three wickets left. Omar Zai is the big threat here. Ball by ball stuff. No run. It is Omar Zai currently on strike. That's a very good start. Not going to lie. Can he close it out, though? Yes, he can, Topley. Very good. 27 of 18. Maxi to bowl. One run, one run, one run, one run, one run, one, no run. 11, 22 from 12. Lots of pressure on Omar Zai now, who's not on strike yet. Prominent gets a single. 21 off 11. But Omar Zai hits a four, I think. Yes, in the gap. Tempted to change the field here. And put long off back. Go around the wicket. I think we'll keep going. One run. Okay, I've got him off strike. 16 off 9. Yeah, 16 off 8. It's whipped away for 4, though. Not giving a whole lot for Mosin Khan to defend here. We need this to be a dot or a wicket, but it's 1. It's actually not... That's actually not the worst result for us, though. Because it gets on strike... Uh, Pramanik again, who has a much lower strike rate than Omar Zai. If anything, we're thinking meta game here. Do we bring a fielder up? Do we bring up somebody like a long leg? We just, we can't, we, well, we can kind of risk a four. No, we, nah, let's just keep it. 
I don't think that's hitting. I think that's outside leg anyway. Yeah. No, outside the line even. Oh, okay, it's just going across him. Dot ball. Oh, I guess the single though. <gasps> no run. One run. Oh, this should be the game. This is the game. Mosin Khan. Mosin Khan closes it out. Oh, the criticism I was given this team at the halfway mark. Giving out players a slap on the wrist. We're so bad. This season sucks. We suck. <laughs> Everything sucks. To winning by eight runs. Cricket's a funny game. You never know. I've always said 160 is a good mark. A competitive mark. If you bowl well, you can win that game. And this is what we've done. RCB have flipped the script and it has worked. Our batting is not what it used to be. But our bowling is much, much better than it has ever been before. And it is proving, or at least it has proven in this game, to be just enough. Goodness me, that was a really, really nail-biting one too. Right at the end. Oh my goodness me. They just flatline in that last over. Mosin Khan, the lefties take over. The three lefties, I mean, especially the two paces, great stuff. Jai Richardson, three for 25, outstanding again. Is Warren the player of the match? Kind of shocked, to be honest. I definitely would have given it to Jai Richardson. He's really, I mean, got Gill out, got Sudarsan out, and he gets Sharma out for a duck as well. Poor Himanshu Sharma got a three for us and has now got out for a duck. For uh, Gujarat, but I guess, hey, you know, we, we thought we did our scouting on that. And uh, it's proven so far that he's not quite managed to hit the mark at this level. Early days for him yet, though. Kolkata lose to luck now by a good amount as well. So that's actually an upset in itself. Yes, it is. Three teams now tie first. And it puts us back in the running of at least not being knocked out early. Or at least too early. Sam Hain is also ready to play. Which is good stuff. Who else needs some physio? We're definitely going to keep rotating that around. Uh, if we can. Because there's a lots of games back to back. Got some other games around the ground. Stubbs doing well there. Three wickets for Hyderabad. 73 runs against that same Gujarat side. Who have lost two in a row now. Mumbai Indians. That's a big win. Brevis with 70. Wow, Rajasthan, 140 all out. Jaiswal, 38. Mustak, 41 not out. Wasn't enough. Punjab win. Hyderabad beat Chennai. Travis hit 85. Where does the standing sit now then? We sit 7th. Delhi, the runners-up, are now 9th. Gujarat, who are 9th last season, are now 8th because they've lost two in a row. Have we put them on a path of uh, struggle, perhaps. Perhaps we have. Uh, we'll have to wait and see there. Did Hama did uh, Sharma play again? He did not. He got dropped. Dear, oh dear. Poor guy. So, let's take a look, brief look before we play our last game of the day. Where we sit with the stats. Matt Short dominates IPL. 235 at 58.75 strike at 152. Goodness me. Matty Short, he's a, he's a gun bat. Aya, averaging 65. Jaiswal is wiring up here as well. I mean, those are solid numbers. Definitely not, I mean, everyone else is pretty much producing better numbers around him, but the fact that he's this high as an RCB player shows like, as, as, as a season we've, where we've really struggled with the bat, shows his class. He's been one of the best finds this season, as I've said. Klaassen. Again, not a massive average. I mean, honestly, those stats are still great. 36.5 at 164. I'm taking that every day of the week. Thank you. So thank you, Carson, for being as I expect you to be. He's great. Good stuff. Wickets. Jai Richardson, 9 at 8. Going at 6s. Fantastic. He's beating Bumrah. That, <laughs> that might just show in itself how good he's been. He's beating Jasprit Bumrah. To be fair, Bumrah's having a bit of an off-season with the economy side of things, 9.4. He's still taking wickets, though, for Mumbai Indians. But, yeah, the fact that he's got one more in that same time 
and a hat trick, and nearly should have had, in fact, should have had a double hat trick, goes to show just how good he's been. In fact, better than the likes of Stark, who's probably getting paid mega bucks. In fact, we can probably check his salary, if I am correct. Oh, what? That is no. What's this? That's not realistic. Game, what is this? No, I'm calling Mulligan on that. There's no way. Mitch Stark's getting, got, still got a two-year contract at 220k. That is, I, I call, I call some financial checks on that one, please. What's going on there? He was mega bucks in real life. You can't, you can't have a, a quarter of his price. We're paying more for Cameron Green. That's, oh, that makes me very mad. What is with that? It doesn't matter. It actually doesn't matter because the reality is we've signed Jai Richardson for, how much have we signed Jai Richardson for actually? 150k. But he's been the pick of the bowlers. So, yeah, that goes to show. It's been a good pick. So, the question becomes then, do we go Sam Hain and help even our batting out for some bowling uh, tweaks? I'm honestly... Oh, it's hard because Topley was really good in that first game. He really was last, or that's, you know, that last game we just played there, he was pretty good. Oh, that becomes really difficult. SA20, he was really good as well. So honestly, it's hard to change this team from the bowling side of things. But at the same time, Sam Hain would make a massive difference to our batting, I think. Uh, if the one change we could make is we could just go Chowhan and try him. Uh, Padadar's averaging 20 at 145. We could try Prabhu Desai. What did he do last year? It's so bizarre because he did better than Padadar last year. Let's try... Let's try Chowhan. Wait, who's got a better second 11, actually? Second 11, 40... Oh, wow. Sour Rab is ridiculously good, then. In comparison. Let's let's keep Sour Rab going, then. Let's see. Early days for him. And then, in theory... The, oh, the thing is, we really would love Sam Hain. All right, I'll do some thinking, and we'll come up with a decision. Okay, I'm going to believe in the formula. At least one more game. This is an important one too. This is 10th place. We must win. If our batting really does keep struggling, we can bring Sam Hain in. But I honestly feel like we've got Klaassen in the right spot. We've got Maxwell here with some support as well. We've got to rely on an Indian top five here to kind of carry this team home moving forwards this season. Jackson Green are, you know, two players we would have really wanted to do much better than they have, and they just haven't. It is just a few games, but still, it hasn't been enough from them. But what has been more impressive is the fact that Jai Richardson and Topley have basically made themselves undroppable, and that's made things very complicated for how we maneuver Sam Hain into this lineup moving forwards. It's going to be really difficult. Prabhu Desai is going to give it a go instead of pat it up. The logic, well, it's mainly just to see how what the difference is. But last year, we did see Prabhu Desai for other teams got an average of 36.9, striking at 178, which is better than what pat it up did last season. Or the whole of last year, I guess. So we're going to see, I predict that pat is actually better, but we'll see. Sal Rab's second lemon stats prompt his selection, so we're going to see again if that's Gonna stay that way. There's a lot to consider. I'm just I, like at this stage, Reese Topley is vastly better than Arshdeep Singh, and as a result of that, I feel like it's only right then that we pick Topley to keep the runs down, then to pick Arshdeep Singh, who's gonna get wickets but be expensive doing that, and then putting in Sam Hain. We've all, we do already have one overseas bat already, technically, through Klaassen, even though he's, he's the keeper bat. So going more than that is really kind of lopsiding your team a bit, and I'm not sure 
if it's a good lopsided or a bad lopsided. It might prove to be a really good lopsided. I think this game will kind of tell us. But we're pretty close to actually our best 11 in this season, which is good to see-ish, sort of. I guess I expected more from this best 11, if you will, especially with Jackson Green and their their performances. But they are around as It's been like that. Look at Maxwell struggling with the bat, but at least he's delivering something with the ball. Those other two struggled to do that. Uh, more specifically, Green did. Uh, Jax was okay, but Maxwell's been really good. So that's something that we've kind of been looking to exploit for the moment. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm not sure about it, but... Uh, do we really expect to win this comp in the second season? Probably not, because a lot of the teams are still the same. So we're going to have to just wait and see how this plays out. The Mumbai Indians are last, but they did come off a good win in their last game. So it's going to be interesting to see how they play out to be. Some good players there. Kind of didn't want to win the toss, honestly. Um, mm, tricky. I actually think we'll do the same. I think we're going to bat first. Um, they do have some really good players in Brevis, Wadira, and Suya Kumar Yadav, who's, yeah, Sky's very good. Kishan at the top. Tough stuff. They don't have Rohit Sharma, though. That might be useful. Shocked they don't have Rohit Sharma. Maybe he's on the bench. I didn't see him move teams, but Mumbai... Convincing favorites to win. Bumra first up to Sal Rap. Inside edge, but it's four. We'll take it. Panya to open up. Lovely drive from Sal Rab. That will be four through the covers. Good shot. Cut away six is Byron. What a shot. Wasn't all that like short, but he's just uppercut it beautifully. Gonna try and play out Bumra because, I mean. Even though he's been struggling this season, he's a quality bowler. Wouldn't bet my money against him. Let's put it that way. Unfortunately, Pandya is the first one to pick up a wicket here. Saurabh gone for 13 off 11. Coley to the crease. Um, we've got Shres Go uh, Gopal who's going to open up here. Or open up, and there's the first change. Cut away, six from Coley. Player was out there too, waiting for it. But he still cleared him all the same. And then beautifully driven. Through point. And it will just about skip away for four. A uh, medium bowler. Don't see that too often, but his stats so far, what's he doing this season? Not too bad. Not too good either, but... Offering something. Oh, shot down the ground. That's four. One boundary shy of 50. Nat will bring it up. As Iswaran cuts through the cover region in the power play. 52 for one. Could be better. Honestly, I've seen a lot worse. So we'll take this. We'll definitely take this. Predictor is stating Mumbai is still on top. Predicted innings score 186. <laughs> 55 for one against the Leggy. And he's been swept all the way for six. Beautiful shot. Pretty sure this is being played, yes it is, at the Wankiri. So, you know, the crowd are going to go silent when we hit sixes and stuff. Fair enough. He's come around the wicket. Camboge, I think that's how you say that. Camboge. It's going to be inside edge for four. Oh, that's better. Using the wrists. Coley, back to back. That one's much more convincing, though. Oh, wow. Backs away. And nails it. Over point for six. Oh my goodness me. Coley's getting into the act now. We're loving this. Hello. I'm going to actually swap the aggression around. Why not? Keep Iswaran at the crease. If we can. If that's what the aggression will do. Oh, Iswaran won't mind though. It's reverse. <laughs> All the way for six. Beautiful shot. Enter the crowd a long way back. Outside the line, not a problem. Only six off the over, but we are setting ourselves big time here. Oh, another inside edge for four. We'll take it. The luck seems to be skewing a bit back in our favor, which is good. Is Warren can have a crack now. Coley's doing very good with what he's got. And we're looking at 180 as a projected score. In fact, it's saying 190. 
which levels the playing field a bit more now. 56% chance for Mumbai to win. Shot. Back foot drive through the covers for four. All the way for six. Waited for it to land in the slot and it was punished for six. And again. And again for Mears Warren. Six more. Flat. And again. Four. Was it three in the over? Three in the over plus a, plus a four. That's a huge over. What is it? It's a user record partnership for one. At. Uh, sorry, four. The team Bengaluru, of course, RCB against Mumbai. 91 for the second wicket. That was 18, 22, 24 off that over. 50 for Eswaran. Great stuff. His ninth T2050. Those stats are crazy. He is one of those players that the game's like, I nah, don't pick him, but I'm like, I should at least give him a go, right? And it's worked. Game's like, yeah, okay. Still pretty good. Averaging 48. Striking 154. Can't complain. Those are great stats. Ar Arjun. We've got Arjun Sharma, who hasn't bowled a ball yet. And the predictor states 206. We haven't actually looked at this mid-innings too much. We're back in favor now, which makes a lot of sense. But we've got to realize there's a lot of game left. Oh, yes, Coley. What a shot. Over point for four. Beautiful stuff. 45, I think, that moves into. Playing a miss. Bit full to be playing that shot. Gets a single to 46. Is Warren plays the reverse for six? Oh, my goodness, mate. On to 60s. Oh, six more. Six more is Warren. 132 for one. Six more is it? Three in a row. Woohoo! This batting is unbelievable. Okay, New Year's record against Mumbai, 76. Thank you very much. Record partnership as well. At the one kitty. 114 for the second wicket here. Part of me honestly wants to go crazy, but... Honestly, we're doing fine. Leave it. Just leave it. If you're doing good, just leave it. Don't touch it. Oh, yes. Down the ground. That's one bounce four. Moves into, into, into the 80s. Oh, it's even better. That shot. Same shot, but just higher and longer. Oh, I think it's six. Is it one bounce four? Four, six, four. One left in the over. Oh, I think he's finally gone. Oh, he's dropped though. It's his day. Today is, is Myron's day. He moves into the 90s. Oh, wow. Dropped on 90. What, 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 what was actually just 90? Goes for four to push him to 94. Highest innings for ICB. User record, 94. Goodness me. They've, we've, got, we've got seven overs left. We scored this score in the last game all out. I just want to put that out there. That's four down the ground, I think. Or actually, I think it's a couple to bring Coley as 50. Missfield, but we'll take it. Coley brings a 50 of his own. I think the first this season, just as I was really going at him. Gave him a proper pep talk. And that's six, and that's 100 for his Warren. That is a century to savor. Oh, and it's six more as well, I think, is it? One bounce four. 100. Well done. I, it was no celebration, but he just slog swept it for six. Fair enough. He kind of skipped the 90s after that misfield or after that drop catch, really, with that six. That is the fastest 100 for RCB, 43 balls, and a new all time record. The fastest 100 for RCB against Mumbai, 43 balls. Brilliant stuff. Ezwar in his second T2050. Look at those stats. What an innings it's been. He's had a pretty good season, really. I mean, I, I said I said pretty good season. I've seen multiple times. He's been our best bowl, best batter by a good good margin. He's been one of the few batters to really have that title. And boy, has he been good today. 11 sixes. It's insane. Up against Boomer now, though. What's he got? Oh, <laughs> golly. What a shot. Oh, and yes, Warren's going to... Yeah, it's a brilliant take, yeah. He's going to have to go. Bomber's too good for uh, getting slogged for too many sixes. That brings to the crease pretty much anybody we want to bring. It's got to be 
I want to say Klaassen, but Maxwell could be a very tempting option as well. Anybody who's basically willing to slap pace bowling. We can bring Klaassen to the crease. Why not? Five overs left. Coley can go for it because he's really set himself up now. 178 for two. Yes, driven away for four. We should get like 220, 240, but you know. Just because you've done well up until this point does not guarantee you runs in the next five overs. You can still really tighten the screws up. That's an edge for four. Oh, that's just belted. Full smashed. Six. Four overs left. Klaassen's still got time yet if he wants it. Coley's going to go, though, because Hardik Panya's bowled a brilliant Yorker. Uh, Prabhu De Desai is going to keep getting slid down the order, unfortunately, because Tide is just as ball-striking ability as anybody. Oh, an edge, though. Lucky. Three left. Launch time? Question mark. Yes, cut through the covers. That will bring up 200 for RCB. Should be a match-winning score, but we've got to keep pushing here. Playing a miss. Got some good batters. Just takes one of them to get going, as we've seen today. That's four. Two left. Two overs after this. Oh, yes, Ty. That's six. You know what we really need next season, now that I think about it? Another left-handed batter. <laughs> Just a future wish list for myself. Hardik Panya's got one more. He's bowling exceptionally. Ooh, no run. Two dots. Oh, three dots. He's bowling a spell right now. Four dots. Blaster can't hit it. Oh, that's one way he does. Last ball of this over. And he's... Well, we'll take it. We will take it. The last two balls disappear, so that's not too bad. Boomra. It's an edge. No one will get there, though. It's huge. Six. It's an edge, but really middled it. And again, that is skewed down the ground. Unconvincing, but it's still for four. Oh. And a miss. Last ball of the innings. Is it in the gap? Somebody will get there. Somebody will get there. And classen has gone for 21 16. Unusually slow. Can't believe it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hammer him too much, really. We've got the job done. If you get over 160, it's a good score. 180 is probably the perfect sort of score to get consistently. When you hit 234 on the board like this. You're going to just take it. You're going to take it and say, how the heck did we get it? I don't know, but yes, please, and thank you very much every day of the week. I will be happy with that. Boomer, two for 28. Class as always. And honestly, the I did look at the all-rounders actually at the front page there, like the team selection. I thought to myself, you know, an opportunity to take them down, but I didn't say it because there'd been so many opportunities this season where I thought we could take all-rounders down and then the bowl well. But today was different, obviously. We, we actually did the thing I was finally thinking we could do. 153 stand really did set it up between S. Warren and Coley. Brilliant stuff. Those two were exceptional. And everyone else just put the icing on the cake. Good work, Tide. He hasn't been... Tide hasn't been, like, the best player of this team, for sure. But he's probably the most underrated. He consistently comes in, consistently gets a good strike rate, and gets out or just gets a good score, as he's done here today. And look at the look at this. Just a consistent season. But he's, like, he's striking 188. So he's, he's playing the role nearly perfectly. I'd love a highest average from him, but his strike rate is... Ticks every box. Brilliant stuff today. Is Warren, it is, I mean, wow. Take a bow. Brilliant stuff. Nothing more I can say there. Coley did a great job as well. I don't even, he, he didn't play the anchor role either. He played brilliant. Brilliant striking role. Just batted very well. And if the Mumbai Indians chase this, we've done a lot wrong because fair play. 235 at 11.7. If they chase this, fair play. It's going to be the highest chase of the IPL in history, which to be fair, we hold the record off because we did it against, or who did we do it against actually? Uh, Lucknow. It was last season. First game of last season. We have a 92% chance to win. I love that the game also says, well, percent chance to chase your own record. So let's see how we go. Kishan Kishan. Flicks it away for four. No complacency here, though. We've done it ourselves. So it doesn't mean it can't happen against us. Ten off the first over. Jai Richardson, that's a pretty tough one. Oh, he's in. Yeah, he's gone. Mose and Khan. Inside edge. Kishan will have to walk. Great catch. 
Great catch from Klaassen. Jai bowls very well. Good comeback. Smash, though, from Brevis. That's six on a length. Gone. Just came off a brilliant 90, I think. What did he get in last game? 70 it was in the last game, Brevis. So watch out for him. Jai to his third. Chopra. That's six, too. Oh, Slotsville. Six more. Tries to go again. Better bowling. It's, yes. Good catch from first slip. He's going very fast. Prabhu Desai didn't even get to bat. I feel bad about that. He'll probably get another game, so it's fine. But yeah, great catch. Brilliant catch from Prabhu Desai there. And again, consistent thing at the start here is we've got two power play wickets that's really going to set their challenge back now even further than it was before. Uh, we're going to bowl. Yeah, we'll bowl top play for one in the power play. Ended out. Oh, no. That's too, too straight. Six. Oh, that's too short. Six. Then restrictions in. 56 for two. They are going hard at it and fair play to them. Got to try and find a way to slow them down. And that's why we're going to the slow left arm bowler of Kuldeep Yadav, who's going to probably be the ch the be all and end all for this chase for them. If they smash him around the park like this, we're in big trouble. If he gets a couple of wickets, it's probably game over. That's usually what happens with the spinners in this sort of scenario, I would say. Ooh, skews it to cover. Who takes it? Instead, it's actually going to be Topley here. With the breakthrough, Wadira has to go for 10. Sky comes out at number 5, 67 for 3. If anybody could, could look at chasing the score, it could be him. Yadav to Yadav. Big player. Oh, catches the cry. No cool deep stick up the hand. To be fair, he nailed it. 4. 6. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's 6. He's looking good already. Gulp. Gulp, gulp. Nervous times. This is where it gets more nervous. Maxwell. Oh, yes. He's done the breakthrough, though. He's got the main man. The danger man. The game. Dare I say. Sky charges it and misses it completely. Seth to the crease. And Maxi has, do it, has delivered this season big time with the ball so far. And that's been a big, big help for this team. Grievous down the ground for four. Cool deep struggled. Hit. But the run rate's climbing, so they're going to have to target someone. Oh, Brevis. Brevis doesn't mind, though. That's six. Kind of want Brevis off strike against uh, Cool deep at the moment because he's nailing him, but he's miscued it. Can someone find their way to the ball? Yes, they can, and he's gone. Yes, Cool deep yard off strikes. He's gone for 46, Brevis, trying to bring up a 50. He's got to go. And Mumbai, 99 for five. This is a big, big moment. This game, probably done now. Hardik Pandya to the crease. And he gets knocked over. Beautiful stuff. Cool Deep Yadav picks up his second. Good comeback here. And what an over to finish out his spell. Glenn Maxwell's going to keep bowling here. 112 for six. That's what I mean. Like, it was really... They had to have a crack at someone. Or I guess at Cool Deep and just keep doing it. Gopal has managed to hit Maxi for six. That's been lucky to miss, to be honest. And But it was actually Topley, I have to give credit. Where credit is due, Topley, with his first wicket of the season, was the game changer there, getting out Wadera, and then it really just went downhill from there. He's come, he comes back now. Let me flicked away for 4-9 off it. Not the best, but... Again, when, it, when the required run rate's at, like... 14s. If 9 off and over is just not enough at this point. Maxi's knocked over Seth here. Tossed it up. Brilliant bowling. And uh, Topley will gonna, is going to bowl himself out. We'll flicked in the air and in the gap. It's going to be 4, but still 1 for 32. Exceptional bowling. This team. Well, well, well. Just when I thought this season could be done for us. To be honest, I thought we were cooked after... That fourth game especially, first game of today's episode, I thought we were in real trouble. But we've really managed to pull it together in these last few games. Jai Richardson to finish out his spell. <laughs> what a take from Glasson. How's he got a hand to it? Oh, my word.
Great take. We've got to see that one again. That was a beauty. Had to go the wrong way because it was swinging in and then the outside edge. What a take. Jai Richardson, 2 for 27. Run out chance? No, not going to be. Ooh, through point. Good shot from Gopal. That's going to be four. It's played pretty well here, but it's not going to be enough. In fact, this is a good chance for me to experiment with a new field, actually, which I will do right now. As I'm going to push long off back and bring up long leg to give myself a... I don't know if this is actually this... Oh, this is literally this field. What am I doing? Never mind. We are good. Come around the wicket. Might as well try it out. Good time to try it out. Nothing on the line. Mosin Khan. We'll see how he goes. Ugh. An edge for four. That's rough. Cries of catch, but won't carry to him, though. Two left. My bold. Cries of catch to end the game. Skied and taken. Long on takes it easily. Tied with the catch. 42 for Gopal. And in the end, a comprehensive win against Mumbai. 68 runs. A walloping, if anything. We will take that. Is Warren 105, player of the match. But our bowling again is a massive highlight here. Everyone takes wickets. Everyone under economy of 10. What more can you ask for? What more can you ask for from your bowling than that? 166 for 9. They ended up getting. Just consistently getting wickets. No big partnerships. Which is the exact opposite of what happened to us. We put partnerships together. And that one partnership of 153. Set the tone. And RCB climb and climb Dewey. Climb all the way to second place. To be fair, again, a lot of teams yet to play not as many games as us. But still, we've climbed back up the table. We were, what, eighth to begin the episode? Maybe even tenth. And yet, we've climbed to second. Three wins, three losses. Sal Rab improves his wicket keeping. That's good to see. Do we now change the coaching out? I think we will. Uh, we're going to give Prabhu Desai a bit of a coaching stint, I think, just to see if he can get a little bit better. Uh, in saying that, I think we should give Padadar some as well because we might need him. Tide is also running a little bit low, so let's do that. And who else is running low? Topley. Top him up. That's okay. I'm going to need to do the pun, but okay. Uh, Jax does not need the ball. Uh, Maxwell's doing very well with the ball, so honestly, let's keep his bowling up. That's really good stuff from him. Trent Bolt does not need it. Topley will need it. Kuldeep Yadav will probably keep needing it. And other than that, one more. Who do we want to give it to? Probably Klaassen, actually, and give DK the keeping. Although, in saying that, Klaassen's not been doing bad, so I don't know. I actually don't feel too bad about that. If anything... Yeah, just keep Ez Warren with it, to be honest. I think I'm happy with that. Let's go with that. Class and improves his keeping. Okay, great. So, let's go around just a quick results. Kolkata lose again. Ported to... Well, you know, it's pretty big to see them losing because they're the reigning champs. Mumbai beat Lucknow with Brevis getting a ton. Lucknow beat Gujarat. Mumbai beat Rajasthan. What is going on? Gujarat lost again. Hyderabad. Kolkata win against Delhi. Fair enough. Punjab then beat uh, Chennai on the duck with Lewis. Which is an upset, really. And that game got abandoned because of rain. So are we having a game where we're going to have lots of rain? or A little bit of cloud. Nothing crazy, apparently. So that's good. Where does that now leave the stats? Okay, we slip back to 7th, so we pretty much have not moved from the start of the episode. But, to be fair, again, it looks like a lot of other games have happened since we've last played. And we've got a lot more momentum, I think, and I feel a lot better with where we are compared to where we were at the start of the ep episode today. Let's take a look at the stats. Brevis tops the runs. But is Warren right behind? Those stats look so much better now. One, what, 47.8 striking at 171. 
Brilliant stuff. Overtakes Matt Short and Shris Iyer. Coley climbing slowly. Good to see. Clarsen, still very good. Wickets. Scaria, 16 at 9.5. Jeez, he's averaging 12. What? Boomer, 14 at 16. His economy rate's lowering, so I guess, you know, a bit of seasonal variance, but he's figuring it out. Jai, 11 at 10. What can I say? Class, brilliant. Which is better than Stark, who's got 11 at 18 going at nines. For, you know, comparison's sake. Mosin Khan, 8 at 19. Maxwell, 7 at 15. Been a very left field, you know, idea that he's bowling very well. So we're going to take that. This team's actually really starting to turn things around and it's getting pretty interesting at the top now. Kolkata 4-2, Lucknow 4-2, Chennai 4-3, Punjab Kings 4-2, but struggling on run rate. Hyderabad and Mumbai, oh, to be fair, Hyderabad and Mumbai are only just above us because of the abandoned game that they had too. So we aren't actually, we, well, with the win in the next game, we're effectively, in fact, with the win in the next game, we're effectively as high as second with our run rate. We have one of the best net run, rate, run rates going around because Hyderabad and Kolkata have been smashing everyone. So that's, that's pretty, good, pretty good stuff to see. But that is going to be it for today's ep episode, everyone. We've, we've got some progress, I think. That last game especially was a real highlight of like, if we get things right and very right, we won't have to worry at all because our bowling was exceptional and our batting just came together here. If we get 180 and we're, you know, even if we got 180 in that game, we would have won. That's something that's very positive for me there because our, our batting at times has been very, very bad. And we've managed to bounce back from that. We've managed to find the right balance, at least in the last couple of games. We want to keep that winning streak going, though, if we're going to make finals because it still looks very, very close. Oh. Up and down the ladder, that's for sure. But if you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more Cricket Captain content every week over here at James Plays Cricket Captain. And of course, for other content over at James Plays Cricket, my main cricket channel for the rest. If you want edited videos and all that good stuff. And until next week, everyone, take care.